All right, all right. Um, one second. All right, y'all. Uh, first and foremost, let's give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, and we do so by Shema Mashiach Yahweh Shai. Today, I'm turning off the cameras. I'm turning off the cameras. I'm looking like tired as hell, y'all. So you know, y'all done seen me too many times. I'm not some faceless coward on YouTube like most of these people. But anyway, I'm gonna give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. And we do so by Shema Mashiach Yahweh Shai. Oh man, you guys see the title. Preacher Perry cut to shreds in three scriptures. And that's all it takes, really, about five scriptures, and you can destroy all of Christianity. That's it. And you know, as we go through the Sakari Varsity, which is the online academy uh specializing in Hebrew apologetics, you know, we're we're putting together like hundreds of precepts. If I could get a Christian to just sit, uh look at Preacher Perry's in here, but you know, to be honest with you, you're out of here, bro. It's, I put a link in the chat for you to come on here and talk again. And so you didn't click the link. Now you're blocked. So have fun watching your own. Why would you even come here to watch your own funeral? Yeah, niggas is crazy. He's astral projecting from the dead. <laughs> He's astral projecting from the dead by way of medium to come back and watch his own funeral. Niggas crazy. Anyway, um, you know, if I could get one Christian to sit down and, um, <laughs> okay, there he is. All right, Pre Preacher Perry, man, are you gonna be able to show some decorum this time around? That's up to you. you. Okay, because last time you were screaming and hollering and yelling. So we had a discussion and um, you, you asked me, was I without sin? And I told you that I, I don't sin willfully. So I'm gonna ask you- But you still do. Okay, so- Right, like at least just admit it. There's a possibility that somebody could be somebody could have put uh, bacon on my pizza, and I ignorantly about when you took his name in vain on our show. Hold on, hold on. His name is not God. First of all, how many gods are there? How many gods are there? I'll just wait till you're done, man. No, my question is: You said I sin by taking God's name in vain. What is God's well, that's name? That's the law, isn't that? Isn't that like number two? Yes, that is. But what is God's name? What it's, is God's it's name? God. It's God. Creator. It doesn't matter. But it says Satan is God. But when you use that word, whose name did you? Who it's are you inferencing to? What is what is is my, Yahweh? My Yahweh question, is my question for you, Zachary, is how can you put people under the law when you don't keep it yourself? I keep the law. Where I'm from, they, we call that a hypocrite. Okay, so let's go to the Bible. Let's so, but what Bible. about when you break the law? Then how are let's you keeping it? When you break the law, you break the law. Right. That so every time you not, sin, you break the law. That doesn't mean you're not keeping the law. Let's yes, it does. That. Yes, you it does. You... Perry, you agree with me? What is the law so everybody can hear it? What you is the law? Cannot serve. You cannot deal with cave beast. Perry, I'm gonna bring you back up. Stop acting like a cave beast. Show some decorum and civilization. I'm gonna bring you back up. I'm gonna ask you a question. What is sin according to the Bible? Violating the law. Violating the law. Mm -hmm. So when you break the Mosaic law, you commit sin. I'm gonna I ask don't you break question. the law. You don't break the Mosaic law? No. Do you eat pork? Do you keep the Sabbath? I'm not under the Mosaic law. All right, have a good night, bro. And this is why it's very impossible to deal with bird brain bonehead heathens. I'm going to play the video from a few days ago on his channel, and I'm just going to do it like that. He literally double talks and cuts the hell out of itself whenever he speaks. If sin is violating the Mosaic law and you violate the Mosaic law, then you commit sin. Then he says, I'm not under the Mosaic law. So that means sin is no longer in the world today. And this is why sometimes it's not even about cutting Christians. You need to have a conversation with a Christian who is actually biblically sophisticated, biblically sophisticated. So let's go to the discussion so that we can just do it like that, because I'm not going to deal with his ignorance today. That's ridiculous. And that's why we say Christianity is worse than fentanyl and heroin. Let me show you guys the video where I went on his channel and what was said. So let's uh, go to Perry the Preacher. Perry the Preacher. Yes, sir. They're like I came on his channel because nobody wants to come on my channel. I'm surprised he came on here, but he came on here just to double talk and yell and scream and cut me off. That's not going to happen today, Perry. So let's, and then look, he's got one of his cult members in here. Didn't even let him talk. Why you run? Okay, you know what? 
imagine the deacon running from somebody when we've debated top Christian apologists in Christianity. Perry the Preacher has what, 100 subscribers struggling to get 100 views? Like, who is he again? <laughs> anyway, so let's, I'm gonna play this. I went to his channel and uh, I'm gonna bring myself down here so we can widen up the screen. And you guys will see what took place, what transpired. This is what you call Christianity, crackianity, churchianity. If you are a Hebrew Israelite and you are keeping God's laws and you willfully break God's laws, that is a sin, of course. But does that mean you should say, now I'm just going to go be a homosexual because I broke one law? That's Christianity. They say, if you break one, you broke them all. So just don't keep any of them. How, when did Christ teach that? Christ said, keep the commandments and live. Keep the commandments to get eternal life. That's what he said. He said, obey every word that came out of the mouth of the Father. Christianity says, if you try to keep fringes and you break them, that's that's one you broke. So don't keep don't keep none of them. Just go be a homosexual. That's what they teach. When you commit a sin, you are supposed to, before the temple was destroyed, you go to the temple, you give your offering, you give your sacrifice, and that covers your sin per Leviticus chapter 4. Now that we don't have a temple, you don't willful sin. And if you do willful sin, you're going to have to pay for that. That don't mean you don't get eternal life, but there will be some type of judgment for that if it's not a sin unto death. Now, if you sin in ignorance, you still may have to get paid back for that, but it's still a sin of ignorance. Like I said, if I ordered a pizza, if I were like this happened to me, like maybe 10 years ago, I'm at a movie. Of course, I was in the truth 10 years ago. I went to the movie theater where they could serve, where you could eat your food and um, you could order drinks, right? At the movie theater. I ordered a pizza, a barbecue chicken pizza, told them no bacon. It's dark in the movie theater. I took a bite. It didn't taste right. There was bacon on there. I told him to take it back. I sinned in ignorance. So there's so many things living in this society that you may break God's laws not even knowing or ignorantly or by mistake and not willful. So let's just go with the conversation, y'all. Above his E to the left, it says ETT, and there's a microphone. And there's a service gauge, which tells me he has full bars. So so this is a video where he was going in on Sakari. So I said, you know what? Let me just go on here and basically troll this guy. I knew this wasn't going to be no type of debate. Because like I said, three scriptures and he's out of here. So I said, you know what? Let me go troll this guy. <laughs> and it was fun. I didn't feel no type of way afterwards. I can move us around. So something's wrong on his end. It's not my end. Yeah, like the brother said, also, too, about 10 years ago, um, before they started making every, a lot of things kosher, a lot of the, a lot of the Doritos had pork enzymes. A lot of these chewy candies had pork gelatin. Then they started cleaning them. But you wouldn't know that. You're staying away from pork, but there's pork and Doritos that were. I know they cleaned a lot of the brands, but there were. That would be a sin of ignorance. Man, these Christians are retarded. Let's keep going. Dude, nobody knows the day or the hour. The fuck is wrong with you? Seriously, Farmer Shady. And, and this is a Christian. This is Volcan Malone's fruit. I'm sure he bigs up Volcan Malone. This is the Christian. Farmer fucking Shady. I've been trying to link you. Ooh, here we go. Good. You ready? What's going on, man? Hey, hey about time. So as you guys can see, I was in the, um, I was in my car. This was before the Sabbath. And I just was like, let me go on here and troll this guy. And this is what happened. Very, very, very rudimentary and simplistic. The scriptures talk about the simplicity of Yahushai. So listen what happens. What, what, is this is this Sakari Sakari or are you the one that I was emailing? I don't remember any emails, but what's going on, man? Uh, are you Sakari Sakari? Like who are you? And, and and to me, I think dude is on opioids. I think he's on opioids, or maybe he's an alcoholic. That's just me. If you guys can sense that, let me know. Put it in the chat. But he's calling me Sakari. Sakari is not a person. Sakari is a group. Are you Sakari? That was Sakari himself, dude. What? Sakari is a group, an organization, a sect of zealots, not one person. I'm Sakari. Yeah. I'm a, I'm All right. So I'm so so. Hang on. I I, I want to be very clear about who I am and who you are. And it's a pleasure to meet you, dude. I understand these probably aren't the best circumstances considering the title, but I I want to be at least on somewhat halfway decent terms so i would like to show everybody uh the emails that i've sent to you you did reply to me at one time i don't understand what happened with that what email address was it uh we're gonna find out right now because i'm just gonna pull it up i probably gotta log in though 
and don't mind it because my inbox looks like a spam feed. I don't, I don't even use this email for anything special. It's just tied to everything you guys, you know. And later on in this discussion, he's gonna accidentally. Well, I don't even know if it was accidentally. He's gonna accidentally say <laughs> that I'm sorry, guys. There's a lot of spam in my email. Um, there's a lot of porn, but the porn's not from anything because I keep my computer clean. My nigga, I'm a grown ass man. Right. I watched some porn in my life. <laughs> Somebody gonna take that and say I'm about it. I said, I have. <laughs> I have past tense watched porn in my life. You don't get porn email. I can show everybody my email right now. You're not gonna see any porn in there. You know why? Because I don't watch porn. You only get spam in your emails, bro, if you watch porn. This is the guy, this is Christianity here though. The guy who says he never sins, right? Let's continue. Watch. You, I, you, I can't make this stuff up. Right here. Boom. Hang on. Ooh, what's my password? <laughs> so you're Sakari, yeah? Yes, sir. All right. You just asked me that again, dude. Lay off the dope. I'm the preacher. Nice to meet you, preacher. All right. Uh, <laughs> do you know who I am? No, no. Oh, that's good. I I kind of think you do. Have we spoke before? Uh, yeah, through email. I got about to figure that out right now. <laughs> yeah, he might be on acid. No, you're right. He might. It might be acid. That's a good guess. He do seem kind of slow. Sound like a zombie. He said he he thinks I know who he is, bro. I never made a video about you in my life. You got Sakari in your title, which is why I'm on, I came on there to troll you. Uh, one five. I mean, you don't, you don't, you, I'm here. Not now. you. I really do because I want everybody to understand that this is this has been a long time coming. I mean, you you got dudes all over the country that are spewing fucking garbage, <laughs> and we need to talk about that. What's the garbage though that that is being spewed? Oh damn, this is a this is a big. Uh, you, let me ask you a question, Sakari. And I I would like I would like this to be on good terms if possible. So I just want to ask you one question: Do you still sin? I mean, I don't I don't willful sin like the Bible but says. Do you still sin? Yes or no? I'm I'm sure that I I sin out of ignorance, but I don't willful. No 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 no. I don't want your excuses, dude. It's not I, an excuse. I really don't. It's an explanation. I do not willful sin. No, I don't. Now, do you willfully sin? I don't sin at all. You don't? Do you, do you guys hear this? He doesn't sin at all. Yet, everybody in the chat can see by the indents and markings in, in what's it called? Scar tissue on his, on his facial cranial that he's doing something. What? Now, look Now look at this. Look at this, y'all. Let me, let me show you how cold Christianity is. Here it is. This guy is on here saying he doesn't sin and mother F this and mother F that. And this Christian Danny is saying that deacon, that I'm carnally minded and still trying to circumcise the flesh believers. Danny, let me put a link in the chat for Danny. Danny's going to come out here and get get that work. Hopefully you're better than the preacher. But look, he said he doesn't sin at all. So I want you guys to keep listening. Why does the Bible say a man that no, says he has no sin is a liar? I'm, I'm safe. No, you're running to First John one eight. I, I'm not running anywhere. See that? So that's the first cut. Remember, I told you guys, he Prairie gets cut in three precepts. He said he doesn't sin. Well, let me share my screen. I quoted First John three and eight. He said I ran to First John three and eight. No, I'm I'm providing a scripture. First John one and eight. I mean, till I can. So let me share my screen. That's one. Uh, first John 1 and 8, if we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. Now, we don't live a lifestyle of sin and we do not willfully sin. But there is some brothers that might say, you know what? I'm mad right now. I don't care. I'm a willful sin. But that's still not a lifestyle of sin. Will he have to pay for that? Yes. That's still not a lifestyle of sin. So first John 1 and 8, if we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us, meaning you are a liar. That's one precept. He's cut. Let's keep going. Is okay, we're good. I've what got is, all what time. Well, I hope you've got sin? time. What is sin according to the Bible? Uh violation of the law. What wow. So he he thou sayest. Hold on, I'm gonna let it keep playing. Uh violation of the law. 
What law? Moses. Wow. See, and this is, I mean, alley hoops. It was really, I guess I could say four precepts in these cut, but I didn't even go to the scripture first, John three and four. I just asked him a question based on that. So I wouldn't count that as my second precept. <laughs> you killed yourself, silly. You smoke crack, don't you? Right. <laughs> anyway, so he said, sin is the violation of the law of Moses. Then he's going to go on to say he breaks the law of Moses, but he's still saying he does not sin. Ridiculous and retarded. Now, I will say this. I will say this. I believe he's probably saying that sin is breaking the law of Moses. The law is done away with, so there is no more sin in the world, which is stupider than Jupiter, which is stupider than believing in NASA and Jupiter. Excuse me. <laughs> right? But let's keep going. Which is okay. Yeah. We're good. I've what got is, all what I mean, well, I hope what, got is time. what is sin according to the Bible? Uh violation of the law. What law? Moses. Okay, so you eat pork? What? You eat pork? I'm not under the law of Moses, dude. I'm under <laughs> Oh my goodness, man. FN crazy. What's up, brother? What's going on? What's up with it? You got questions, comments? Yeah, what are we talking about right now? Are you a Christian? No. Okay, so what are you clicking the link for? This was for Danny. Are you Danny? Who's who's Danny? Your mother. Okay, so what are you clicking the link for? This was for Danny. Are you Danny? Who's who's Danny? Your mother. Anyway, let's keep going. You just said, oh, you just said sin was breaking right. the law of Moses. I'm under the covenant of Abraham, man. But you just said sin was breaking the law of Moses. Hold on. He said you're under, he said he's under, what did he say? He's under the government of Abraham. <laughs> this dude said he's under the government of Abraham. Hold on. Pork? I'm not under the law of Moses, dude. I'm under you the law. Just said, oh, you just said sin was breaking right. the law of Moses. I'm under the covenant of Abraham, man. But you just said sin was. <laughs> I'm under the government of Abraham, man. <laughs> what are you talking about? He said he's under the government of Abraham. Excuse me? That's my first time in about 14 years thinking that. Or, or somebody being under the government of Abraham. Have y'all ever heard that before? It's been over a decade for me in this thing, about 13, 14 years, damn near. I ain't heard I'm under the governing of Abraham, bro. I don't know what that is. But um, <laughs> yeah, he's on cream. That's what we used to call it, cream. When we were selling crack back in my day, back in the early 90s, 90s, we used to call it cream. That nigga's on cream. But um, he's cut, y'all. He's cut. He said he doesn't commit sin. Then I said, what is sin? He said, sin is breaking the law of Moses. Then I asked him, um, um, well, do you eat pork? Because that would be a violation, right? Breaking the Mosaic law. And he says, I'm not under the law. So who is then? So on only certain people can sin? It, it, it just doesn't make any sense, right? Let's keep going. It's breaking the law of Moses. That email's and then you said problem. you don't sin. But then you said you break the law of Moses. You're cut, my boy. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm not under the law of Moses. Jesus fulfilled it. You're leaving that out. Oh, so he fulfilled Numbers 24, his second coming? Yeah, he coming? fulfilled the whole thing. Read Numbers 24 and 17 and tell me how right. he fulfilled his second coming. Well, that's not the question that was at hand. The question is... Oh, he's running. He's running. So really, it was four precepts. It might be more. I don't know. All I know is less than... I can count how many precepts I brought out on one hand, and he's destroyed. So... When a Christian says, and this is the type of stuff you learn in the Sakari Varsity Online Academy, specializing in Hebrew apologetics, right? I love this. I love the Lord. I just love the Lord. Numbers 24 and 17. This is in the law. We want to see if Christ fulfilled this. Laws for word. <laughs> Dude, Hassad is going to have me uh, messing up. Hassad is a distraction. Hassad is a snake. So I complain. That's what, the, that's what the Christian apologist is saying about Assad. Assad is a passive aggressive snake. Uh, Numbers 24 and 17. I shall see him, Christ, but not now. I shall behold him, but not nigh. There shall come a star to Jacob, Christ, and a scepter shall rise to Israel, and shall smite the corners of Moab and destroy all the children. When did he come back to destroy basically all the world powers? 
This is his second coming. That hasn't happened yet. So when it says fulfill the law, it's talking about his sufferings. That's Acts 3 and 18, him having to die and be resurrected and go through Israel on a goat, but not everything in the law and the prophets. You can't use that to say, so Christ fulfilled the law so that I could break the law. Man, Christianity is on cream. So let's see. Let's go back here. Uh, do you say, and you still haven't given me a straight answer? I did. Don't run from no, me. No, you're, you're trying to say, oh, not willingly, not, not, not intentionally, but you're, you're dodging the answer. Yes or no? Perry. Do you still sin? Yes or no? Hold on, hold on, real quick. Azariah. Azariah, you're live. Hey, Shalom. Hey, sh hey, Shalom. Uh, I don't know if you're at an encampment. <laughs> I don't know if you're at an encampment <laughs> with your tent under a bridge at Tent City. I don't know if you're in Tent City encampment under a bridge, but uh, it's real loud, my boy. And we know that was Ronan. Ronan's now living at an encampment. But let's keep going. Uh, T History says, who is the real Israelites, the black Israelites or the Jewish? <laughs> um, just stick around. Stick around until this is done. Matter of fact, I'll put a link in the chat. We can talk about who the real Jews are. Um, let me see. Terrence Figs, how can Paul be teaching to the Northern Kingdom when they are, were already exiled to the Western Hemisphere in 700 BC, 700 years before Paul even came on the scene? Only the three tribes were in Israel. There were twos and fews of the Northern Kingdom, meaning like a very, 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 very small remnant, not in every Greek province that Paul was writing to. But if you knew history, brother, you would know that biblical history and extra biblical sources. Um, let's keep going. I do not sin willfully. Uh, but the, now you're born that's bullshit. My that's More my bullshit, answer. Sakari. Come on. That's my answer. Come on, Sakari. So why yes or no. Say, you either sin or you don't, motherfucker. I ain't got time for this shit, dude. <laughs> you either sin or you don't, mother ever. No. You either sin or you don't, motherfucker. I ain't got time for this shit, dude. You either sin or you don't, mother ever. That's Christianity, y'all. That is Christianity. And you know me, I exemplified the fruits of the I, I exemplif exemplified the fruits. I exemplified the fruits of the spirit. Just like when racist Nick called us monkeys and that we're good for nothing. Vocab alone, homeboy, another white Christian apologist who said all black people do is spread AIDS and sell crack, right? <laughs> so, you know, I exemplified the fruits of the spirit until then, until I'll be real with you, until the end. But I didn't, I wasn't mad. I just told him, I said, you got our name and your title and your clout chasing like a bitch. You know, I wasn't mad and angry. It's a, it's a statistical fact. <laughs> Okay, let's keep going. More That's bullshit, Sakari. Come on. That's my answer. Come on, Sakari. So why yes or no. Say, why you either sin or you don't, motherfucker. Why I ain't got time for this say, shit, dude. Perry, Perry, don't get emotional. Don't get it's emotional. not emotional, man. You're lying. You're, you're, like the Ku you're Klux a liar. You are like the Ku Klux Klan. You're a liar. You don't know shit about this book. So the Bible says Jesus was the only one that was without sin, but you're saying you, you are without no, sin. No, no, no. He made righteous to all those who believe in him. The oh, he's cut. He's cut. That, I'm writing. I'm marking this down because... I'm really just watching this over with you guys. That's three precepts. The first one was first John one and eight. I got to write this down. The second one was, oh, I forgot. What was the second one? Oh, numbers, numbers 24 and 17, right? And then the third one was, um, Christ was the only one without sin. And he's saying he's, he's without sin, right? That's three, right? Very simple. And you can see he's, he's not answering my questions. He's not presenting uh an exegesis to my my scriptures rather he's running so that's three precepts right there but it gets worse or no you either sin or you don't motherfucker i ain't got time for this shit dude perry perry don't get emotional don't it's not emotional man you're lying you're a liar you're a liar you don't know shit about this book he do look like a skinhead the bible says jesus was the only one that was without sin but you're saying you you are without no no no. he made righteous to all those who believe in him no you're cut the real believers you know like real faith 
How did Jesus say you get saved? Uh, by belief. Okay. John Matthew chapter 19, six, verse 29. Matthew 19, Matthew 19, 16. Right. Matthew 19, 16. You're talking about. That's, that's five cuts. I said, I know I said three, y'all. It seemed like three, but I guess, I guess it was more. Matthew 19, 16. I'm writing this down, just keeping track. So that's five cuts already. Christ said, you are saved by keeping the commandments. He's saying that all you have to do is believe the man walked the earth 2,000 years ago, and then you get saved. Hitler believed that. Jeffrey Dahmer did, too. When he talked to the, the guy who walked away crying because he was if sad. He wants to get eternal right, 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 no, 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 no. But you're leaving out what happened to that guy. What happened to that guy? What happened to that guy? He didn't did want he, Was he saved, or did he walk away sad? You're Which not one? saved until you're not saved until no, the end. No, you're a liar, dude. You're, you're a fucking he fraud. That until you, the no, end. no, 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 man. Well, you put the law that, on everybody else, Sakari. Do you that endure until no, you the don't. end? Hey, Sakari, you don't keep saved. the law. Period. Not that's six cuts. He thinks you're saved right now, but the Bible says you gotta endure until the end to be saved. That's six. Dude, you put the law on everybody else and you don't keep it. You're a liar. Prove, prove I don't, prove I don't. You just said you don't. You said you sin. How is me sinning not keeping the law? That's what sin is, is breaking the law, Sakari. He's, this is so much double talk. He says, Sakari, you're sinning because you break God's law. Then I asked him, oh, do you break God's laws? Then he says, I'm not under the law. <laughs> it just doesn't make any sense. That means in order for you to, so you have to just say, I'm not under the law and don't keep none of the law and break them all. And that makes you, it just doesn't make any sense. That makes you a, 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 a non sinner Christianity produces idiots. What a comment. What a comment. Let's just highlight that. And this is all with all due respect in a polite way. Christianity produces idiots. Bugged out. You're a liar. Pro prove I don't. Prove I don't. You just said you don't. You said you sin. How is me sinning not keeping the law? That's what sin is, is breaking the law, Sakari. Did you know when? Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Are you an Edomite? No, let's, let's not you tell me. Let me tell you. Are you an Edomite? Huh? Are Dude, you an Edomite? first off, there's no race in God. I don't know what there's fucking planet. There's no race in God. There's no race in God, yet God created distinct people, groups, and ethnicities. There's no race in God. You know what? At first, I thought he said that there's no races in uh in Christ, but he said there's no races in God, meaning even in the Old Testament. <laughs> so I, I just want to go here to Genesis 10. It says table of nations, table of nations. Look at this is the table of nations. These are races that sprang out of Noah. Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Look at all look at all these races here, all these ethnicities, all these distinct people groups here in Genesis 10. Look at the world, we all go back to these races, these people. You can't make this stuff up, man. Clowns. That from why does first but Peter 2 and Galatians 3 28? Oh, but wait, 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 wait. you write off race. Paul, right? You oh, write off Paul. Let me Hang see. on, you don't like Paul. Give me first Peter 2 and 9. You don't like let me Paul. Cut this. Let me cut this goddamn devil. Give me first Peter 2 and You're 9. You're not gonna do shit. You still Watch serve. How I cut this devil. Every time you first sin, Peter you serve sin. Two and nine. You're Sakari, about every time You're you about sin, you serve sin. Sakari. So that's it. Hold on. That's one, two, three, six. So seven. He said there's no race in God. I'm going to first Peter 2 and 9, where it says the Israelites are a chosen race. Very simple. Every time you sin, you serve sin. You're of the fucking devil. <laughs> You're of the devil. How? Said there's no You're the one that breaks God. sin. You serve sin. You're of the fucking devil. <laughs> You're of the devil. How? Said there's no You're the one that breaks God. the law. He said there's no race in God. I want everybody to There's see no this. race in God. Cracker. Galatians 3, Watch this cracker. First Peter 2 and 9. But you uh -huh. are a chosen race. But uh -huh. you are a chosen race. Uh -huh. There's no race in God. You're a lying crap. Galatians 3.28. See, and, and that's what Israelites should never do. Israelites should never. Um, can y'all see my screen? Can y'all see my screen? Let me let me let me see something real quick. Um uh, what is going on here? Stop screen share. Okay, hold on, hold on. 
And this is what Israelites should never do. This is what Christians do. Christians present a scripture to you. You break down their scripture and then you give a supporting scripture or a rebuttal scripture. This is what you're supposed to do. We see Christians, you present a scripture to them. They say to hell with that part of the Bible. And they just go to what they think is going to um, support their argument. And we should never do that. Right. So first Peter two and nine says you are a chosen generation, singular, a royal priesthood, singular, a holy nation, singular, a peculiar people, singular. Well, that's in the plural form, but it's talking about a particular nation. The Christian church is a multi-ethnic church, many races and many nations. This word for generation literally means race. Let's look it up. Generation, genos, genos. That's the Greek word. What does it mean? Kindred. Kindred is another word for race, offspring, offspring, nation, stock. You understand? That's why when you go to the ESV, in the English is gonna say race, right? Let's go here. Um, here we go. Chosen race, chosen race. The ESV has gotten this right. Why? Because the Greek says the same thing. There's no race in Christ. What are you, there's no race in God. What are you talking about? God sees the Israelites as a race, and not only that, the best race, the chosen race, the race above all, even in the New Testament. So let's uh, let's go back here. Get another one. Yeah, Galatians three twenty eight. You're awful. Awesome. Awesome. Oh, now you got to now you look now you're going to resort to First, racist uh, bullshit. You're going to call me a cracker. That's really that's, that's, what, that's how you respond. That's yeah. how. Let, let me tell you how how evil how evil Edomites are. How evil they are. He gets to call me mother effer, effer, liar, piece of garbage, the devil. And then I call him a cracker and he just, he just has a meltdown. He has a meltdown, right? Yeah. How you respond? You call me a cracker? Can Dude, a believer sin? Really? Can a, can Am a I disrespecting you like that? I got a question. Can a what believer sin? What the fuck is wrong with you, man? Can a believer sin? No. <laughs> this might've been the ultimate cut. This might have been the ultimate cut for the whole conversation. Can a believer sin? He says no. Really? Can a can am a I believer sin? You like that? I got a question. Can what a believer the fuck is sin? What's wrong with you, man? Can a believer sin? No. First John five and sixteen. If anyone uh -huh. sees his brother commit a sin, not leading to death, he uh -huh. shall ask, and God will give him life. You're a dumbass. For man. him. Wait, 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 wait. You left out the rest of it. You left out the rest of it. Yeah, you left out the rest of it. Let's For him, him that sinneth to not those who unto death. Sins, that do not lead to death. There right. is a sin that leads to death. Yeah. I do not Which say that one death. should pray for that. Which this is cracker sin. does not know what the hell he's talking about. Which is sin to death. Hey, dude. Trying to come hey, up man. Mm -mm -mm. That was a cut. That was a cut. Five and sixteen. So let's examine that. That was a cut. Can a believer sin? He said no. Look at this. First John five and sixteen. Let me. Let me. Uh. Let me. Let me. Let me know if you guys can see my screen here. Okay, there we go. You guys can see my screen. Now, look what it says. I'm going to read a few different translations. If you see any brother, he's writing to believers. He's writing to believers. He's writing to those in the faith. If you see any brother or sister commit a sin, if you see a fellow, look at the NLT. Ooh, it get nasty out here. It says, if you see a fellow believer sinning, <laughs> he's done. If you see a fellow believer sinning in a way that does not lead to death, you should pray. So yes, a believer in the faith can commit a sin, but he's not supposed to live a lifestyle of sin. That would make him an unbeliever. But if you see a believer sinning in a way that does not lead to death, you should pray and God will give that person life, meaning he will forgive you. But there is a sin that leads to death and I'm saying, I'm, and I'm not saying that you should pray for those who commit it. So he's literally saying, if a brother or sister in the truth commits a sin that's not unto death, then you should pray for that brother or sister. But if they do commit capital punishment, such as adultery, uh, killing someone, fornication, incest, you know, a, a, a capital punishment sin, don't even pray for that brother or sister because they're going to have to pay for that. Look at First John 2 and 1. Um, let's get the NLT. First John two and one, it says, my dear children, I am writing this to you so that you will not sin. Yes, it's possible to not sin, but 
if anyone who does sin, it's possible to not sin. And in this society, even back then, it's possible to not sin willfully. But again, you got ignorant sins. Somebody could inject your steak, could know you're an Israelite and inject your steak with pork juice. Those are ignorant sins. But as far as the willful sinning, things that you have control over, that's possible, of course. But there are some things that are not in our ability to do. For example, when it says that, you know, you are supposed to offer a sacrifice on a certain day, but we don't have a temple and to even do that. We're not in our homeland. So there are certain things that may be a sin that is out of your control, and then there's ignorant sins. But it's what's absolutely in your control that you can do is what you can do. I hope that makes sense. It says, but if anyone does sin, but if anyone does sin, so it's possible. We have an advocate who pleads our case before the Father. He is Yahweh Shia Mashiach, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Let's keep going. You just pulled that racist in three scriptures. You're you yelling. Just got bodied okay, in then three keep serving sin, man. Hey, Sakari, then keep serving sin. Go keep Re serving. Read that sin. verse. Read that no, verse. No, 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 no. Read that verse You're not, and explain. I'm not on your time, homie. I just you just kept on quoting Galatians 3 and 28 as if this means nobody has an ethnicity now. <laughs> so I'm telling you to read it. Now you don't want to read it. I mean, make your mind up, my boy. Galatians 3 and 28. There is neither Jew nor Greek. You're not a Greek. That has nothing to do with you. Never let and see, this is why I love the Sakari Varsity Online Academy specializing in Hebrew apologetics. Um, because we deal with these type of scriptures that Christians run to and um, we deal with them head on because this has not, if you're not a Greek, first of all, you shouldn't come here. This is, <laughs> is this Jew nor Greek, nigga. You're not no damn Greek. That's first and foremost. Second of all, Paul is Paul has already identified the Galatians as Israelites. He said they go their foremother is Sarah in Galatians four. He said they're under the law in Galatians four. He said they're under the curses in Galatians three, and he's called them saints in Galatians one. But they're in a Greek province. Why? Because previously we were under the Greek captivity. So yes, we were all still there, Hellenized. So he's telling them that you guys are Israelites. You guys are the same as the Jews. It's even written in the Maccabees that the Lacedaemonians are the same as the Jews. Lacedaemonia is Spartans, in, which are Greeks. Verbatim, it says that. Whew. All right, let's keep going. You're on read mine. That verse, read that You're verse on mine. Look, dude. You're not on my time, but you just tagged Sakari sin. like a cloud chasing Go fish. Go keep serving sin. <laughs> you just tagged Sakari like a cloud chasing Go fish. Go keep serving That's what sin. You are. You're a female. Stop tagging Sakari. You're the one You're not acting ready like for the smoke. Mouth. You're That's what's funny. You're smoke. the one acting like You're a female. You're a cloud chasing hoe. That's you what search you in. are. Hey, really, sin. I'm that's what you all are. praises, honor, and glory to you, Howard. Why are you you're full of shit? Blah, 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 blah. Blah. God doesn't hear sinners, time, motherfucker. Go put on your panties and brawl, you bitch ass nigga. You're a fraud, dude. <laughs> Look, he ran away. He ran away. Now, now he had some cult members. He had like nine people watching that live stream. Literally nine. And so some of his cult members are like, Deacon ran away. So I'm supposed to just sit here for two hours and we're supposed to just yell at each other. And he's and he's the one who started calling me mother effers and liars and devils. I'm supposed to just sit there for two hours and yell and scream with this grown ass man when I got kids at home. I'm out of here. If you if go watch anybody can watch my channel. I have three hour discussions where no names are called and it's a peaceful dialogue with those who are contrary <clears throat> to my faith. So this is just an example of a fentanyl racist Christian, a fentanyl opioid popping racist Christian who hates blacks, and it came out. So that's why they got like that. He fucking ran away. Cowards, man. They're fucking cowards. That was Sakari himself, little bitch. You see that? Little fucking bitch, little serving us in, lying to all these motherfuckers, all of them. You know, the cool thing about it is, is that these Christians, they get on the internet and they say this. I can guarantee you there's a Hebrew Israelite camp in his city. He needs to go there and talk to them and, 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 and talk like this. And I got every dollar in my account. He won't do it. Frauds, man. Fucking frauds. How do you guys not see this shit? How do you guys let this happen to you? How do you fucking people <laughs> not take it seriously? I just can't wrap my mind around it. 
He ran away. He's a chump. Just like the it was Sakari himself. See, Sakari is our name. Our name is feared amongst these heathens, man. He was talking all spicy, and when I came on there, he said, "Nice to meet you." And that, you know, I know that was passive, um, passive generosity, passive benevolence, right? Pseudo benevolence, <laughs> right? The rest of his fucking fake Hebrew Israelites, they're frauds, man. Are you fucking kidding me? That was Sakari himself. Done. <laughs> they're frauds. They serve sin. They fucking lie. They convince you that there's something righteous, but they're not shit. <laughs> this is great. He's gonna yeah, he's on WWE. Where is it at? He he's getting he's getting his WWE on right. That's crazy. We serve sin, but we got all the pimps, drug dealers, and killers and prostitutes repenting. Imagine that. We serve sin. Righteousness is perfection, and perfection is only by Christ. And we teach that here. I show you how that works. I love you fucking people so much. Even the people that hate me, I love you. That's why I tell you the truth. I got no problem making a fucking video like this. Look, shotgun blast. Boom. That motherfucker's done. That's what it is. Hey, man, the way he's sucking on that straw, you can tell he eats a banana with two hands. <laughs> there is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither bond nor free. There is neither male nor female. For you are all one in Christ. And if you be Christ, means you're a believer, then are you Abraham's seed. That motherfucker ain't Abraham's seed. He ain't shit. He's a chump. He serves sin. And every time he sins, that's all he serves. Over and over and over and over and over. And he's going to bow. That motherfucker's going to bow. Watch. I, I, I'm going to have to bow to the white man. <laughs> Imagine that. Kill me. Yeah, he calls, him, he calls himself a lot of things. <laughs> he just proved what he really is. He's a fraud. He's a fucking fraud, you bitch ass nigga. <laughs> You're a fraud, dude. Look, he ran away. He ran away. <laughs> he fucking. I show you how that works. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I had to get that. I had to get that closer. They're frauds. They serve sin. They fucking lie. They convince you that there's something righteous, but they're not shit. That shit. That shit. <laughs> righteousness is perfection and perfection is only by christ and we teach that here i show you how that works i love you fucking people so much even the people that hate me i love you that's why i tell you the truth i got no problem making a fucking video like this look shotgun blast boom that motherfucker's done that's what it is <laughs> there's neither jew nor greek there's neither bond nor free there's neither male nor female for you are all one in christ and if you be Christ, means you're a believer, then are you Abraham's seed. I make me log back in. Okay, so I have, watch this. Ooh, I'm excited because I can share the screen. Watch, I'm going to show you the emails. I promise you, I've not lied to anybody about a fucking thing ever. This is the part where he reveals that he has porn. Because I think people were, they, he was showing his screen. I think he accidentally showed his porn porn in his email he tried to say he tried to clean it up Ooh, that's not working why hang on let me minimize that okay okay so here it is share <clears throat> check it out so here's my email i have to stretch it out a little bit so you guys can see i have a lot of spam a lot, lot I, don't, I don't not a lot of porn shit even the porn shit's not from anything like i'm hold on a second I got a lot of spam. There's not a lot of porn shit, but there's a little bit of porn shit, but it doesn't come from anything. Cause wait a second. Did he just say that? Hold on, let's rewind this a little bit. This is the guy who said he doesn't sin. So here's my email. I have to stretch it out a little bit so you guys can see. I have a lot of spam, a lot, a lot I don't I don't not a lot of porn shit, but even the porn shit's not from anything. Like I'm Really careful about my computer. So, you got a lot of spam. You don't got a lot of porn shit, but there's some porn shit, and it doesn't come from anything because you're real clean about your computer. So, what you do is, is what you're saying is you whack off to your phone on your phone and not your computer, because I got at least ten emails. I check all the Sakari's emails. I got personal emails. There's no porn spam in there. Only way you would get porn spam is if you watch porn, period. This dude is done.
So here's my email. I have to stretch it out a little bit so you guys can see. I have a lot of spam, a lot, I don't, I don't, not a lot of porn shit. But even the porn shit's not from anything. Like I'm really careful about my computer. But here we go. All right, so let's find messages. Watch this. Anyway, y'all, uh, that was that was very interesting, and uh, that was me trolling. You know, sometimes I troll people. That's just that's just sometimes how I find I, I pass the time. You know, by trolling people, and by trolling people, these are the type of things that come out. Christian apologists watching porn, but uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna end this, y'all, by giving all praises, honor, and glory to you, Howard. We do so by Shimamashiaki Awashai. Till next time, Shalom.